Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So yesterday I posted a ranking video of all the kits and I decided it would be fun to basically build with just the kits and base game of course. So that is what I'm doing. There's no other packs in this except for like the holiday celebration pack because that's free and the ghoulish guitar because you just have to like sign up for emails of the sims to get that. So it's pretty simple stuff that is free to do. Um, but yeah, we only have 22 build kits and I did make sure to use all of them, trust me. Um, I'm pretty sure I used like the basement treasures kit one time and it's just like, I don't know, I tried to use like the broken TV stand in the living room but it just wasn't screaming to me. And then for the outside, I used like a bunch of the courtyard oasis stuff just because like, I don't think none of that stuff is like indoor furniture. Well, there is a coffee table, I guess. And then I guess you could potentially put the couch in there, but I feel like it's more supposed to be like a courtyard, not really like a living room, like a full enclosed living room couch. But yeah, I used everything. I'm proud. I really love how this turned out. It turned out better than expected. And my whole thought process of doing this was to make it like half Mediterranean, half um, mid-century and what I mean by that is just like the outside of it because like Oasis Springs is filled with mid-century styled um, I guess homes I guess at least for the outside and then the other half is like Mediterranean so that's what I wanted to do for this build is just like split it up and I think it looks really good I really do I kind of expected for myself to like bulldoze and I didn't which is kind of surprising with a build like this I mean, it is a residential lot, so like it's not the worst thing in the world. Now, if it was a community lot, yeah, I would have probably struggled a bunch. But yeah, I kind of, I just, I like it. I, it's weird to say I like something that is so weird, I guess, because it is weird. Like obviously the styles don't match and, but I don't think they clash that bad. Like obviously on the outside, when you go inside, you're going to be expecting it to be like, vibrant blue but that's not what it is at all um i decided it's because like the windows like you can see the blue from the inside so i kind of like decided to make the entryway kind of closed in and it's only closed in by one tile so like you don't really have an entryway and then upstairs we have a teen bedroom a toddler bedroom and the toddler has like the blue windows unfortunately but I just decided to ignore that because it's not that big of a deal. And then downstairs we have, uh, I guess, painting space, um, the uh, main bedroom, and then the ensuite. And then we have a one tile closet for the vacuum. Um, um, that comes from Dust the Bust. Um, bust the Dust? Dust the Bust? I don't know. Anyways, it's one of them. I was trying to use originally a swatch from the Decor to the Max kit just because like I imagine for some reason that like there is like this orange swatch, like this orange tiger swatch um, on the couch, but I was wrong. I think I was probably thinking of the wallpaper that I do end up using a little while later in the hallway to the parents' bedroom. But yeah, I just, I don't think I was really that worried because like in my heart I was like, okay, for the castle estate kit, I'm going to put that in the greenhouse. And... For the decor the max kit there's like that giraffe statue i can just put that like it's not gonna it's not gonna be that big of a deal and or i could have used like the coffee table so like i knew in my head like that wasn't you know it wasn't that bad if i were to say one of the kits were hard or i was a little worried about it was probably the basement treasures kit but like i just stuck that in the art room and i decided to like raise up a bust on top of it so like it was fine it was really fine and the challenge is to use everything at least once i don't have to use it like the same amount of times so that was no problem and i probably did like use more kits than i probably used i guess one kit a lot more than the other i don't know i i couldn't tell you because like a lot of it is probably just base game like if i could choose one I probably used, honestly, it's hard to tell. I feel like I used them equally, some of them. Now, not all of them, but just some of them, I feel like I used probably equally. Like the, um, or not the nifty, I was going to say nifty knitting. No, like the book nook kit, the cozy kitsch kit. 
Um, I probably use those like the same amount of times, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not sure. But I'm going to, um, this upcoming week, I'm going to be ranking the stuff packs. And I'm going to do the same thing where I'm building with just the stuff packs. And that's it. And I think that will be fun as well. I will say during this build, I was like, oh my gosh, I really wish I could use like the um, cozy, not the cozy, the, oh my gosh, the Home Shelf Hustle kit. No, it's a stuff pack. I was kind of hoping I could use that, but of course it's a stuff pack. Um, I will say there's like, I don't think I struggled too much with the build. The only thing I kind of struggled with is like the clutter in the kitchen because we don't have like a kitchen clutter kit yet. I say yet, like, they're gonna do that, but it would be cool. It would be nice if they wanted to do that. I wouldn't complain. Like, I don't know. Um, it would be nice. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be asking for a kit like that. I don't know. But, yeah, I just, I felt like I kind of struggled with the clutter in the kitchen and with the wall space a little bit, and that's pretty much it, probably. But, yeah, I, I, I really, it's weird how I, how much I like this. And it took me three hours and 18 minutes to build. Um, I built it all the way through, which I don't know. I feel like, I mean, I guess building all the way through for three hours maybe isn't the worst, but it's probably very important to take breaks because honestly, I felt like my wrist was hurting. I was like, oh my gosh, this is rough. And also, I feel like I don't really build big builds that often. Um, I mean, okay, I will literally, I spent three hours before on a one-story house which I find very embarrassing. Um, but I guess since I just like only used the kids, it wasn't like that much because there's not that much to scroll through and everything. So maybe that's the reason. Cause I feel like this house, yeah, I can see it maybe taking three hours just because like there's a second story, there's a whole backyard. But yeah, like I, I spent three hours on a small house before. So that's embarrassing to me at least. Um, like, it's just a one-story house. Why did that take me three hours? Um, anyways, but yeah, like, I honestly, like, Simsy, she streams for three hours, and most of those streams are probably her playing The Sims and building, so I'm like, how does she build for three hours straight? Does her hand not hurt? Like, does it not hurt? Does her wrist not hurt? I don't know. I have, like, one of those wrist thingies, and I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it helps, I guess, majority of the time. But yeah, I just, I don't know how it, like, the, are you okay? Like, wow, lucky. I just, I don't know. Like, maybe it's just because I haven't built for three hours in a while. And maybe that's just the problem. Like, I haven't built for three sh hours straight in a while. Maybe that's the issue. But yeah, I also got a bar in the kitchen. So that was nice. I used the bar from the Party Essentials kit. um, And yeah, that was lovely, I suppose. And with the kids having the upstairs, I definitely don't feel like the upstairs matches the downstairs. But I think that's okay since it's only the kids' rooms up there. So I think it's fine. Um, and that's good. And then for the outside, I used like a lot of the Riviera Retreat kit. Um, just because like that's basically a backyard kit. It's like the only way to use it. I could have used like the dining chairs in here, I suppose. But... I guess that just doesn't fit the vibe to me. Oh, actually, I used, like, the wallpaper from the Riviera Riviera Retreat Kit. So, actually, that's fine. And I decided to put a mirror in the living room because I did not know what else to put. Again, I was kind of struggling what to put on the walls. And I also decided that, like, orangey, reddish color was, like, a little too much. Um, so, I decided not to use it. Um, and, yeah. I really like this build. It's pretty nice. I'm so sorry. I feel like at this point, I don't know what to say. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but my brother has moved in currently. I don't know if he's like moving back out. And like, I don't know if you've been here before, you know, I get a little anxious when people are home because I just don't like making videos when people are home because they might hear me. And also with him, it's just hard, especially if he is awake. Now, if he's asleep, that's a different question. Maybe I could like talk myself into doing it. Um, but yeah, and yeah, it's just hard. I don't, I don't know, but, um, anyways, as I was saying, I'm kind of trying to rush to do this voiceover, except you can't really rush to do it because, you know, it's, I, I'm only on 10 minutes at the moment and I have like 15 more minutes. So would anyone be mad if I just end it here? I'm very sorry. 
I would love to talk through the whole thing, but honestly, I don't think I have much to say. It's a pretty simple build. Hopefully you like it, and I hope you enjoy the music, but I will see you later in the video for the tour.
So here's where I built the house. This is what it looks like on the outside. I will admit, I forgot to do terrain paint, but I'm so sorry. But in the front, we just have a garage. We have a planter box with flowers in them. And then in the front courtyard, I guess, maybe, we have a telescope, a fountain, a bench area, so you can wash the clouds. And then this is like the very skinny entryway, I guess. We have a coat rack. We have a place to put your mail and your bags. And then when you walk in, you walk right into the dining area. Then we have this cute little shelf and then over here is the living room space so this is like very cute we have a chess table we have our frame tv and then over here is the kitchen space so i went for like pink orange and yellow and i like it we have a coffee maker oh i don't actually think you have a counter to cook on i guess i can do the terrain paint i wasn't gonna originally do it because i already uploaded this to my library but we have a bar we have some aprons some shelves and then over here we have our trash can and we have our record player and then then over here is our art studio room. So this is where I use the stacked chairs from the basement treasures kit. That's probably the only thing I use to be honest. And then yeah, we just have like our nice art decorations. And then this is the main bedroom. So they have a nice bed. They have a seating area, a mirror, a dresser, all that good stuff. And then they also have their ensuite bathroom, which I like a lot. They have two sinks, a shower, and just nice bathroom decoration. Okay, I feel like I would like this better if it was like this. I think this is better and then we could put like the robes over here. I think I like that layout better. Okay and then if you walk outside you have three planter boxes and we have three more planter boxes over here with our greenhouse. Um, So the greenhouse is nice. Then you have a big pool and I decided to raise up this drink tray. It's just decoration. I thought it was cool. Um, I think it'd be very nice if they could add like a floating table and you could like grab drinks out of it while you're relaxing in the pool I think that would be cool and then over here we have lounge chairs we have a grill with a seating area a games table we have more planter boxes our planter pods and a trash can and then when we walk upstairs this is the upstairs bathroom I'm gonna size this back up the reason why I sized it down is because it has like that weird shadow but yeah this is the bathroom pretty simple this is the teenagers bedroom they like music they have a desk area and then they have more planter boxes on their balcony and then this is their little sibling room so this is for a toddler it's pretty nice I like it but yeah that is the full build hopefully you guys like it I really do love it especially the downstairs area I think everything kind of goes together but before I go I am going to do the terrain paint for all of you okay so I think I did all of the terrain paint but it's worth 100k which is a lot of money but there is 22 build kits in the game if we count we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and yeah. And then these are just like the free things you can get, which is like the holiday pack and the ghoulish guitar. I guess you get that if you like sign up for emails about The Sims. If you want to download it, it's on my gallery at Sims Delicious, but I honestly, I'm proud of it. Like, I think it turned out better than I expected. And yeah, I'm gonna leave the video off here. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you. You are important and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye everybody!